good morning good evening my lovely people so I was actually writing everything down because I wanted to make a post about this last full moon that we have but I could just feel that I had too much to say <laughs> so I decided to make a memo and then I'm going to make a little video about this and I have felt a little bit under the weather the past days, but I know why. I needed to realize that I need to step out of my comfort zone and create something that I always wanted to create. I actually spent two hours talking with Amanda about it. So it is something that you guys are going to hear more about in the upcoming year, in 2021. Because it is going to be a new way for me to help you guys on your journey and i just want to also take a time to say thank you all for the support for the likes for the comments for the new subscribers for all the sweet words it really means the world to me and i'm so grateful for this magical family that i have with you all on this channel and i am so excited for 2021 i'm so excited to be on a new journey together with you all and I think that this full moon, this last full moon that we have in 2020, is very significant. And I did channel in my spirit guide Shiva, and she did say and mention that today is a day where all of you are going to experience something. If it's not happening today, it will happen tomorrow or one of the next days. But there's going to be a lot of realizations. The next day there's going to be miracles, you realizing something or whatever have been bothered you will be resolved in the perfect way. So there's a message just to relax no matter what your situation is because there is something that's about to come your way that's going to help you out or that's going to give you the answers. It's something that's very very important. It can also be a message that comes to you from your spirit guides it can be through your dreams it can be a combination with dreams with tarot cards with your intuitive feelings but pay attention but i think during this time where we are all looking for our life purpose which also makes sense why we have the north node card and i am going to put a picture on this video so you guys can see the two cards that I got for you but I think it's also important to remember to you know live your life with joy realize all the small things in life that makes you happy all the things that makes you stop up in wonder like standing in the sunshine breathing in fresh air listening to rain hugging a tree being with people that you love smiling laughing watching a funny movie, listening to your favorite music, just doing what it is that you really love. Ask yourself the question, what makes my heart shine? And it can be a little thing. It can be something that you forgot, something that you always wanted to do. But sometimes I think we put a lot of pressure on ourselves because we are in search of something or in search for something. And it can be a life purpose that you are... It's nagging you that you can find out what your life purpose is and this is the reason why i want to talk about that today but i think also with the message that shiva gave me it's important to just live your life find out what brings you joy right now because everything else is going to fall into place and yes 2020 has been very chaotic for all of us so it makes sense why we are closing off the year with the emotional cancer. But it's also to remember that cancer is not just an emotional sign. It's also a sign of psychic abilities. And now that cancer is about I feel, we are stepping into the energy of feeling. Feeling our emotions and really feeling life. Realizing what do I want? How do I feel about my job? How do I feel about my relationships how do i feel about my goals there's a lot of awareness there's a lot of memories i feel a lot of us are digging into the past looking for answers looking for things that's hidden and with that we are realizing something and i feel for a lot of you guys you're going to meet someone special 
someone is going to come into your life. For some of you, it might be a female coming into your life, or you are that female. But it's someone who is mysterious. It's someone that might be connected with a past life. It might be someone who's connected with your soul mission, your life purpose. It's someone who's going to spark your imagination, your creativity. And it might be a person who's making you realize something, or remember something that you have forgotten. Something that's going to help you. It also feels there's a lot of family situations that's going to be res resolved. Something that's going to clear the way. And again, I'm looking at the North Node card while saying that. So it might be connected with something karmic from a past life. Whatever this might be, it's something that is resolved now or something that will be resolved. Something that is restored. And it has something to do with bringing this balanced joy into your life. Thinking about yourself. Going after your dreams. And I feel there is this message from your spirit guide to let go of whatever is holding you back and move forward. And to really allow yourself to feel your feelings. Get rid of everything that's negative. Everything that brought you stress in 2020. So like I said, there will be a lot of focus around home. There will be a lot of focus around family. It has something to do with your life purpose, I feel. And it has something to do with bringing balance back. Something that's being released. It can be something with your current environment, where you're living. It can be something to do with your paradigm. But with this full moon in Cancer, there is predictions of rebirth. Birth of the new. So obviously it can be pregnancy for some of you guys, but for others of you it can be birth of the new when it comes to yourself, when it comes to a new job, career, home, relationships. But if you feel like something is coming to the surface again, something from the past, it is to be released. It is being released. So there might be some kind of reunions or be connections with a person or again it can be family something with your home or your childhood home a country i did hear someone mention inherited so i wonder if there is something there for some of you but whatever this full moon brings you pay attention to your dreams your imagination you can rely on your magic i heard and now that you have the first cards being heaven i do feel that the universe your angels and guides are calling you to be more, because there is something inside of you that wants to burst out. There's more mystery around you. And I'm going to link the video I did about the age of Aquarius, because it speaks for itself about what you guys are going through. So if you haven't seen it, I would say see it. But there's going to be more acceptance, there's going to be more love in your life, which could come down to family matters, if some of you guys have had conflicts or... Uh, stress around family or in a relationship or with career or work it all will be balanced out now so the more you embrace yourself right now the more you embrace the opportunities coming your way there's no limits in your future everything is being offered to you so pay attention to what the universe is trying to show you or what your angels are trying to show you because i feel there's a calling for you here for you to connect with what your dreams is or are. And with the North Node, with the Life Purpose card, again, you are being guided in the direction of your life purpose. You're, you are not looking for it anymore. You don't need to look for it. It found you, or it will find you. And this card is connected with the Ten of Cups, so it brings you even more. It is finally positive karma. It's whatever has been in the past, whatever tiny karma there has been. Because some of us, we don't have a lot of karma from the past. It is being resolved now. Your rewards are coming in. It's your soul being enlightened in a new way. You are expanding yourself, your being. It's this energy of... In the future, you're going to be in the right place at the right time. And some of you guys might ask, well, how? Well, if you follow joy, if you manifest with joy, if you just go with the flow, again, stop up, look at the sky, just enjoy the tiny things in life. That is the way 
that you manifest now. And that is this energy that this full moon is going to bring you. But I feel there's going to be a lot of memories. There's going to be a lot of maybe even memories with dreams. Or you thinking back on things. But don't let it stop you because it's because you're letting go of it. There is a message from your soul. There is a message from your spirit guide to let yourself be connected. You have learned the lessons that needed to be learned. Now you can enjoy your life fully. I mean, obviously, there's still always, you know, tiny lessons. But the karmic is done. The portal is open. You stepped in. Especially if you did the meditation that I did. I will link it above if you haven't. But you are ready. You can be optimistic about your future. Because things are just going to fall into place now. You just have to wake up, snap, snap your finger. Go out there. Smile at the sun or the sky. And just know that your rewards are coming. And I feel this is going to be my last words for today. Thank you guys so much for being a part of this. I hope you guys are going to enjoy. Oh. <laughs> My phone just was lighting up on 2255. That might be a message for you. But yeah, thank you guys so much for listening in, tuning in. I hope you guys enjoy this full moon. I don't know why I want to say this, but catch the blue flame. I don't know why, but that just came to me. If you are in either a private reading, healing session, or removal of blocks, all information is down below. I can't wait to hear from you. Thank you guys so much. I can't wait to film more for you guys tomorrow. Remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know if this resonated. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.